hello everyone so in previous video we have seen that the different addressing mode right so what is specifies how you will get your operand right so we have seen the implied mode right uh, where your implicitly your operand is specified immediate mode right so operand is specified in the instruction itself yeah, register modes in which operands are in processor registers then register indirect mode means from register you will get the address of your operand then auto increment auto decrement mode then direct address mode and indirect address mode so in direct address mode effective address is equal to the address part of the instruction where in indirect address mode the address field of the instruction gives the address where the effective address is stored in memory so in indirect address mode we have seen relative address mode right in which the address field that is added to program counter in index addressing mode in which address field is added to index register in base register in addressing mode in which the address field of instruction is added to base register right now in this video we will see the example of this addressing mode right so we will calculate the effective address for all okay so suppose this is the instruction load 500 right so we want to load something from this given location okay <clears throat> So this is your memory. The address is given here, right? The content of memory is given, right? Mm. And these are some of the registers, program counter, your processor register, right? Your index register, this XR and accumulator. Okay. Now this instruction, it takes two bytes. Uh, so two zero zero and 201 to store this instruction so your program counters holds the next instruction to be executed that's it that is load 500 okay <coughs> now for each possible mode let's calculate the effective address and the operand that must be loaded into accumulator because load 500 what it does it will store the operand from the given address to the accumulator but now what about this address direct indirect or which addressing mode is it in it is in right so that we need to see right so addressing mode i have listed effective address calculation and what is the content of ec means which operand you will it will fetch right so at 399 i have 450 value at 400 i have 7 700 value likewise so in immediate mode in immediate mode what it will do just remember the immediate mode so in immediate mode right so operand is specified in the instruction itself right so operand is in instruction itself <coughs> so if i see in that right so <coughs> our operand <coughs> our operand that will be at 201 okay and the content of ac is 500 right so basically this is your operand 500 is your operand right so we have specified that in the instruction and where 500 is located at 201 so basically the effective address is not required in this case but we have written right in this case you will get direct operand 500 that is loaded in your accumulator the next is registers right the register mode so opponents are in processor register opponents are in processor register so this is our processor register r1 
okay <coughs> so in this in this our operand is in processor register right so uh, this is our processor register and the value is 400 so this is our operand this is our operand so 400 is operand so here also you can write dash right because operand is directly 500 so register in the register mode operand is in processor register so that is 400 now register indirect means from that uh, processor register from that processor register what you will get you will get the address of the operand right now it will not give you direct operand but it will give the address from where you will get the operand right so in register indirect mode this is our processor registers it has value 400 so at 400 at 400 right whatever the value we have that is our operand so 400 that is our effective address from where we will get the operand and 700 that is your content that will be loaded into accumulator auto increment and auto decrement let's see the auto increment <coughs> in auto increment right before incrementing the value it will load right so the content of register is 400 so 400 will be loaded and the content of operand will be 700 and then it will increment and then it will be 401 register auto decrement mode <coughs> right so right now the content is 401 as we have done this auto increment or if you then do the auto decrement then it will be 400 now assume right now this is the situation and with that situation we want to perform this auto decrement then before doing the uh, before fetching the address it will decrement the value so now the value will be 399 right so value will be 399 and from 399 what will get 450 in auto increment will fetch before incrementing so 400 right it will fetch the value that is 700 and then it will increment that is 401 in auto in increment if this is the case then first it will decrement and from that value it will take the opponent right so in previous case it will be 401 and then uh, 401 but before that from 400 it will take the operand in auto decrement first decrement and then it will take the operand that is 450 <clears throat> then direct address mode so in direct address mode this specify the address value direct address mode right so from 500 you will get the operand so 500 what is your operand 800 so that is direct address mode indirect address mode indirect address mode right in indirect address mode you need to calculate the effective address right <coughs> so So indirect addressing mode. So from 500, from 500, right? It will give you the address where the address of the operand is stored for indirect address mode. It will give you the address where the address of the operand is stored. So your operand is stored at address 800. 800. What is your operand? 300. So 300 that is the value in your accumulator and 800 that is your effective address. <laughs> then relative address mode. So your at content of address that will be added into your program counter. Right. <clears throat> so next the program counter value be 202. You see the instruction that is of 2 byte. Right. So that's why it's 
uh, some part is here and another part is here. Here we have specified the mode. These are the mode. Right? 202 program counter plus address field 500 plus 500. That will be 702. Right? And what is the content at 702? 325. So that will be loaded in your accumulator. <coughs> Then index register, right? So index register in index register will add the address field. So this is hundred plus five hundred. That is six hundred effective address. Right at six hundred, what is the value? Nine hundred. That will be your operand in index register. The Base register addressing mode that is used to relocate your program. That is used to relocate your program. So you can see in direct address from address field, we are directly getting the address from where we get the operand. So this is your address now 500, and from that you will get the operand. In this, you need to calculate the effective address, right? So in indirect addressing mode, from this address field you will get the address of where your operand is so from one address you will get the another address and there you have your address of operand right relative address mode your program counter plus your program counter plus your address field so program counter is 202 because right now it's a pc means it will fetch this instruction and then it will increment right so after that it will be 202 so 202 plus <coughs> your address field that is 500 so 702 and 702 what we have 325 that is your operand index address mode you need to add this address field 500 into index register so index register is this 100 so 100 plus 500 that is 600 okay and the content is what is the operand operand is 900 right so in accumulator we are loading operand okay and this is the address of so this is the example of addressing mode now let's see the mnemonic of addressing mode that we have seen in the last slide. So the mnemonic for load immediate, load immediate that becomes LDI. Okay. In other assembly level language, the immediate mode is recognized from the sign as placed before the operand. Okay. And rest are it's the same thing hmm. now below is the load instruction when used with the different addressing mode let's see it so these are the different mode of addressing then how you will specify it in assembly and what actually happens in your register so in direct address in direct address right load ldr load ldr right so what happened this will give you the address where your operand is right so actually in your accumulator it will load the value from memory from memory of that particular address right so m of adr ac so if you see this previous case here the direct addressing mode in this case load 500 500 is loaded and this is the operand so that thing will be here so memory 500 and what is this this is 800 that will be loaded in your accumulator now in indirect address mode indirect address mode your address field let me write low 500 right so this 500 it will give you the address another address and 
that is also address from where you will get your operand that two memory reference so <coughs> 500 that is our m of 500 m of 500 right and this will give you address what is 800 800 and again that 800 will give you operand ac right that is indirect addressing mode and in previous case at address 800 memory address 800 what is the value that is 300 so 300 will be loaded in accumulator okay. then relative addressing mode so if you remember in relative addressing mode what you are doing we were adding the content of address field adding the content of address field into program counter so i will add it program counter after incrementing it and with the address field and that will give me address where my operand is so it will give it then your operand will be stored in accumulator so this specifies the different addressing mode right this is indirect this is relative address mode then load has nbr right so this is the immediate operand so your instruction specify the odd uh, operand so nbr is your operand and that will be loaded in your accumulator then your index addressing so load edr x so what it will do it will add your address field into index registers right and then from that it will get the operand and register mode so in register mode from the processor register you will get the operand from processor register your operand is stored in processor register so from that you will get the operand so the content of r1 that will be stored in accumulator right in register indirect the register stores the address of the operand not the operand store the address of the operand right? so you can specify like this so now the content of register is the address from where you will get the operand right so you can write like this <coughs> in auto increment right so in auto increment ld r1 plus you can write like this in that remember before incrementing it we were loading the operand and then we were incrementing the registers so the address the content of register that will give you the address and that address from that address i am getting the operand once i have the operand then i will increment the register then i will increment the registers right so this is auto increment suppose i need to write for auto decrement right so that is ld r1 minus so in that case first now in this case first you need to perform the decrement operation and then ac m of r1 right so in auto decrement first we'll decrement it and then we'll get the operand in auto increment first get the operand and then increment okay so this is about addressing mode example and mnemonics thank you